Okay. Um, yo, what's going on, bladers and brawlers alike? It is Soulburner here, and today I'm actually going to be doing a quick live stream of, I mean, obviously, of the uh, Bakugan Wave 4 that I found, and I'm, like, really, really excited. Uh, I didn't want to wait and make it into, like, a video, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip this around uh, here in a second. And actually, I'm just going to, like, hold on one moment. Okay, so let's see if I can't nail this. Okay, so here we go. I know this is a little wonky right now, um, but this is going to have to do... How does that look? Okay, is everybody... Got everybody in frame? Okay. So, we've got a bunch of Wave 4. Uh, I don't know if it's all of them. Uh, I think there's, like, another Tritonium. I know the, um, what's it called? Uh, the Webm Ultra is part of this set, but I can't open that one on camera. I'll probably have to do a quickie for that later. Um, but let's just go ahead and look at the boxes of these guys, and then we'll just start opening them and checking them out. So, first up, we have the Darkest Serpentese Ultra. Super excited to have this guy. I almost missed him, actually. Um, I was, like, finishing up my rounds and actually found all of them at once. Uh, there's also Gargnoid back here. Um, so I had got, I had seen them all at once, and I was just, like, filling my arms up with them because I just, like, made had to make sure that I got them. And I couldn't carry them anymore, so I put them into a uh, Bakugan Stadium just so I could carry them. I didn't have to run to the front. Um, and get a cart, so that's kind of what I did. And when I came back, I was like, oh, I didn't check for any diamonds, and when I was looking, I actually saw the Darkest Serpentes. Um, so it all started with the uh, Hyper, or not the Hyper, the Pegatrix Ultra. Uh, this was the first one that I had seen, and that just kind of clicked in my mind that this is this is Wave 4, so I finally got him. So, um, yeah, let's, let's look at the back. So, start, sorry. I usually edit all this stuff out, but we're just going to go ahead and just look at it. So we're going to look at them one at a time, front and back. So we have the Darker Serpentine's Ultra. Uh, looking on the back, he's got, you know, these are all going to be the two cores, one character card, one action card. So I'm really excited to see what those are going to be. Um, very, very excited. The, okay, so on the bottom here, we, we actually have the full set uh, of these ones at least. So moving on to the back of the box for the uh, Pegatrix Ultra. So um, he's got his like hands out and stuff. He's like kind of rearing up, and then the horn comes out as well. Um, but just because of the packaging, he just like this flat mess. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and we have the Leonardo Turtle, uh, which is the Aquas Tortonium Ultra. I was kind of on the fence about getting him just because I wanted to make sure I had you know, funds for the rest of them, but I decided to get him, so I had uh, one of each element, but I ended up getting two darkest ones, and I can't open the uh, webum on camera, at least not right now. So I picked up the Tortonium and look it on the back. He looks really good. They, they didn't, like, fill in his pupil on the back, so he just looks, like, <laughs> kind of weird. So he looks like a ghost guy, so that's weird. Um, next up, we have the Darkest Garganoid. Uh, I'm sure my friends are going to be very excited to see me actually have my hands on this because I've been using a proxy one. Um, it's, it's actually really funny. Let me let me grab it real quick. Give me one. Oh, shit. Give me one second. Okay. So I got our decks right here, and here is my Garganoid proxy. It's it's pretty fantastic. I think I think I nailed it. Uh, let's see, there we go. So there, this this is my Garganoid proxy. Uh, this is what I've been playing with recently. I just been substituting the um, the Arliss one in just because I've been you know wanted to practice with it and everything. So I'm super happy to finally have one and. I might still use the proxy just because I, you know, I drew it and everything and I enjoy that. So that's pretty exciting. 
Um, so yeah, so the Darkest Garganoid. I have a diamond one coming in the mail, and now that I have this one, I don't know if I want to open the diamond one, but I really, really do. Um, so maybe if this video or my channel get enough, like, you know, enough of a boost, I might be willing to do that on camera and everything. So, I mean, I'll probably just do it anyways, but yeah. So next up, we have the Arliss uh, Krakalos, who I was like really, really excited for uh, when he got announced because he looks fantastic in the gold uh, with the silver accents and stuff. Um, here he is on the back. Super, super exciting. Sorry this camera isn't very good. I usually record with my phone and then kind of edit it. So I really, I'll make sure that when I'm getting like close-ups and stuff, it's nice and focused on a lot of the things. So you'll have to, I, I do apologize for that, but um, yeah, I'll see if I can't get some better quality <laughs> later down the line. Um, but for right now, this is definitely going to have to do. So we have the Pyrus Trox, finally. The uh, the Trox Ultra. I've been wanting this bad boy for a while. Um, I've been used playing the Arliss one in my deck just because I wanted to play one. So we have the Arliss, or Arliss. <laughs> we have the Pyrus Trox Ultra. So that's super exciting. Um, so that is the wave that I have. Um, everybody is super beautiful. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and open them uh, right across the board. And we'll see what we get and how things look. I was just, the reason I decided to live stream is I was afraid that, you know, I would make a bunch of quickies and I just end, wouldn't end up posting them in a decent amount of time. So I figured in order to get this uh, content to you, I would just live stream it tonight, uh, do the whole set and, you know, um, just kind of take it from there. So we're going to go ahead and start with the last one that I had uh, found which is the Darkest Serpentis Ultra. And I think that's like the fifth time I've said his name on this video. So without any further ado, um, I'm actually going to open this on camera. Yeah, because um, one of the things with the new wave is that the cards in them are actually like damaged, like to the point where if they were in a deck, they would be unplayable. So we're going to make sure that the stuff in this one is like actually decently... Uh, I don't know. I just... I'm worried that they're just in really bad condition. So we're just going to go ahead and open them on camera and check them out. So, okay, there is one. And then when I have everybody open, I'll do like a roll test and stuff. I'll get resituated and do some, uh, some rolls so you can kind of see how they open and everything. Uh, most of these, I think except for the Pegatrix Ultra, we've actually seen a couple time, times on my channel. Um, and if you guys aren't subscribed yet, then definitely uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more Wave 4 or you know even Wave 5 stuff. I got some buddies down at MomoCon right now picking me up some bangerang stuff, so you don't want to miss it when they get back. Um, so we're going to take a look at the character card first so we can take our time looking at the other stuff. Um, is this too close? How's that? This? Okay, there's a bit of a glare. I'm kind of troubleshooting it right now. So um, we have the... Uh, that works. So we got the Serpentese Ultra with the uh, orange shield, the green fist, 300 B power, and 5 damage. Uh, nothing extra on him. Uh, his art look looks pretty sweet. I like the, uh, the way they did him. Usually it's like like falling back or something, but I, I like this pose a lot. And then we have uh, Dark Path. So um, this wave is actually going to have cards from Resurgence. So if you guys don't have Resurgence yet, or if there's some cards that you're missing from the set, then you will be able to get them in this pack. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the cores. So the two cores that we're going to be getting are one is a minus 100, or, oh my goodness. <laughs> It, see, this is why it takes me so long to make videos, because I just mess up so many times, and I get, like, B-Power and damage rating confused sometimes, um, even though I'm looking at it right away. So we have the 300 B-Power uh, shield and the minus one damage green fist. I'll just make a little stack right here, and then we're going to go and take a look at the figure. So this is our, you know, our standard Serpentese figure. He, um... 
he's been having some troubles. Like all the ones that I've had, except for the Pyrus one, have just had troubles like staying closed. But like these mag, uh, not magnets. These springs actually feel really, really nice and strong. So we're gonna close them up and see how he is. I know with the Wave Three Ventus Serpentees, uh, these parts like to do that. You would just like hit it a little bit and it would pop open. Um, but I, this one I'm kind of doing it on purpose. But you can kind of hit these and like roll them. That's actually really, really nice. So. Um, Eh, what the heck, I'll just see if I can't nail it. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, when I have more cores to aim at, I'll, I'll go ahead and open them. So for right now, um, I mean, he just, like, he looks really nice. Um, the blacks and stuff are very well complemented by the purples. I mean, you guys know Darkest, that's just kind of how they are. But for this one especially, just with his, like, design... I really think that the purple and stuff really complement him. Um, and then, like, he's got his little little jaw, the green eye, green stomach, and then the tip of his tail is green as well. So a little bit of detail, uh, a little bit of green detail on him. So uh, that's really nice. And a good majority of it is actually on the inside. So when he opens up, you get a little bit of flash. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, what is up, Caleb? How's it going, man? It's been a while since I've actually seen you guys. Um, I haven't been playing a whole lot of Beyblade recently. Uh, so, oop. Am, I, am I frozen? Nope. Okay. I just had a little bit of connection error there. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys, or I'm glad you're able to stop by for my stream. That's super cool, man. Um, sorry if the picture quality is like the greatest right now, uh, but I'm, I'm working on it. So as soon as it get, gets caught up to me, uh, I'm going to open the next one. I just don't want to be behind. Behind too much, at least. It's, it's obviously going to have a little bit of a lag. So, um, I think I'm going to do the Garganoid last. Uh, so next up. We're going to, oh, I think, I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm just really excited to get into the Pegatrix, so I'm, I'm gonna open this bad boy uh, really quick. So, oh, he looks so cool. I can't wait to get him out of the packaging and get those like hands front facing. Oh, but he's got a lot of detail. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Oof. I can already tell he's going to be super cool. And then it looks like the cards are actually in really good condition. Uh, I think it just might be the cores. Oh, actually, uh, I spoke a little too soon. There's actually like a bend right here um, on the card. But it's not as bad as some of the cores I was seeing. If you guys... Uh, are familiar with R Triple XC? He did a whole unboxing for the cores of this wave, and some of the cards were just in absolutely terrible condition. I just I felt so bad for him because um, you know there's not really much you could do in that situation. Um, but yeah, we got the uh, Pegatrix Ultra there, and then the card it comes with is Energy Draw. So uh, we've seen this card before. Gonna put it off to the side. Uh, we got our two cores. I know I'm building up the suspense for the Pegatrix because <laughs> I know as soon as I pull it out, he's going to spring into action. So we got a 650 uh, magic shield and then a 250 uh, regular shield. So that's pretty sweet. So let's get to the main event of this. I uh, got to be really careful because sometimes the way they package these, uh, I could damage them pretty bad. Um, the Aquas Krakalos is the prime example. Of, oh my god. Oh, he looks amazing. Look at that detail. Oh my goodness. Yo, that's sick. Alright, how do we get those? Where's this magnet? It's right here. Oh, you, you gotta turn the hands yourself. Okay, well I mean that's not bad. Oh, 
<laughs> That's so cool. And then the horn. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah, he looks sick. I like the... Oh, yeah, he's really interesting. He's got a lot of moving parts and stuff. I'm curious to see how he closes up. As soon as everybody kind of gets their fill of what he looks like in, in open mode, I'll go ahead and try and close him up. I like this detail on his tail right here. I think it gets hidden. Yeah. So that's sweet. Oh, I cannot wait to see him in some other factions. So let's go ahead and close this guy up and see how we're looking in marble form. He's got a couple of parts that you kind of have to... Oh, okay. He's got a couple of parts you're going to have to um, unfold if you end up using this bad boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, so... That goes like this. Okay, yeah, so that goes like this. And then his feet, or his wings come around and close on. Oh, that's awesome. Yo, he looks sick. So he's got like the uh, the wing problem here that, um, what is it? Dragonoid Ultra and Fangzor Ultra have where they have these like really big like wing stoppers. So if you like learn how to roll him, or I would actually spend a little bit of extra time practicing rolling him before adding him into your deck or anything. All right. Well, now that I got a couple of them, let's see if I can't roll this bad boy into action. It's only going to get uh, easier to aim the more we open, so... Nope. Alright, let's try this again. I'll get this one, don't worry. Nope. I'm gonna get this. I'm committed. Committed at this point. There we go. Okay. So he picks, he picks it up with his neck, so that's really nice. Um, let's see. That's that's pretty sweet. Uh, and then, yeah, he just kind of hangs out there. So if you uh, open it first, you can uh, display him a little bit better as opposed to just having to close him right back up. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, again, he like closes like this. So you get his his feet around, and then like they'll actually catch the tail. So if you get it like this, uh, maybe. Maybe put the tail back first. Yeah, and then... Okay, and then do it. And then his head goes like into this little space right here. And then you just close the wings on his head. And there you go. You have a marble. So that's awesome. Absolutely fantastic. I really like this guy, and I cannot wait to see him in Aquas. Or, you know, Pyrus or Ventus. I'm, just, I'm really excited to see him in, in multiple factions. So um, let's go ahead and move on to our next Bakugan. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and open the Krakalos next, just so I can kind of get them out of the way. Um, so we got the Krakalos Ultra in Arliss. He looks really, really cool, and I like him a lot. Uh, Krakalos is probably like within my top five favorite designs. Um, so that's really exciting to have another one in my arsenal, and this one can go into any deck, as opposed to just being a specific element, because that's how our lists work. So that's really cool. Um, we got our cores here. We're going to look at these first. We got a 500 B power and a 1 damage, so nothing too exciting. Um, it seems like they kind of fixed the problem uh, with the uh, Aquas one, so if you look right here, instead of being open, like... the they filled the mold, right? And then they closed the back leg. So the thing that um, M. Stubbs was actually talking about, and he made a video when he opened his, is when they pushed this into the mold, um, th these back tentacles would get, like, bent or, you know, disproportionate or whatever. They would get warped in a way, and you wouldn't be able to close it right. So it seems like they fixed that. So good on you spin master for listening to your customers um so now they have a band here that'll actually keep him in place 
Uh, so that's actually going to be a little bit difficult to pop him out. Um, so I guess, you know, you just got to take your small victories. And I think this was actually much easier than the last time I tried to open them. But now it's kind of like stuck. I might, I don't know. I'm just going to try and like force it. Maybe. I can just get it around this piece of his head. Um, this is the ASMR portion of my live stream. So, come on, dude. There we go. Okay, so if you get it over the one, you should be good. And then, oh, come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's fighting me every step of the way. And then we just have that last little piece. So yeah, definitely get yourself a pair of scissors or something when you're opening this guy. Uh, I did not know that they fixed it, but I got him out with only a little bit of struggling. So we got the Krakalos Arliss Ultra. Arliss Krakalos Ultra, I don't, I don't know. He's uh, got a 600 body. Uh, let's look at his card real quick. Okay, so we have Arliss uh Krakalos Ultra. He has the Magic Shield and the Green Fist. I, I didn't go over Pegatrix. It's very, very long. I'm super sorry about that. I'll uh, touch on that here in a second. Um, so if you you may re-roll this once each turn if you miss a roll with it. So that's a really nice uh, base ability. And he's got 600. Ooh, I'm so sorry. He's got 600 B power and 2 damage. And the card we get is uh, Blinding Ink, which is actually a really, really good card um, to have. Uh, you can never have enough of these. It's a rare, and it negates the action card. It, it negates an action card that costs three or less. So that's really, really good, and you can't... If you play Aquas, this card is a must. It's a two-cost. It's really, really nice. Um, so I'm actually going to go over the Pegatrix Ultra real quick because I did miss that. So the Pegatrix Ultra sports the oh Super Shield and the regular Shield. 300 B power and 5 damage. I might have. I can't remember. Well, just in case, there's the Pegatrix. Um, this is just so um, so much going on and everything. So I'm actually going to close this guy. Uh, he looks really, really good in the R list. I like all the black details and stuff on him. Uh, absolutely sick. So, yeah, it is like dark, sil or dark gray eyes and whatnot. Oh, what a cool Bakugan. So he gets like these ones closed, and then you like get his head, and then the front three flaps kind of like go up at the same time, like this, and then you just like close these back ones around. You could probably close all five of these at the same time, and then you just push that closed, push it, push, push it, and that is his marble form. Uh, for the sake of consistency. Let's go ahead and see if I can't open it on six cores or something. Oh, I pulled that core. That's that's some booty. Um, is I don't know. Is this a good enough? Place. Uh, it looks all right. There we go. Aha! I got him. All right. So yeah, he he catches it on his this part of his head right here. Uh, so that's really cool. Um. Yeah. So again, you just kind of like close these two inner ones, and then his head, and then you get these like front ones right here. They should all like grab each other, and then you get these back two, and this last one. And you double double click to make sure that head is right, but I think this actually maybe uh, I don't know the the Arliss one of the or not the Arliss one of this is this one <laughs> the Chaos version of this might be my favorite one just because those blues and everything look really cool on a giant squid, but this is really close to being probably one of my favorite ones. Ah, oh, this is this is awesome. I really like this one a lot. Um, I'm going to leave that little uh, triangle of cores there. I won't add any more to it because six is like an ideal amount to shoot for. Um, actually, let's put this on this side. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this stream so far. Um, 
I don't know if you could like like a stream. Uh, <laughs> I don't really stick around to them very much, but um, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'm having a blast, and just like seeing all this new stuff is cray cray. So <laughs> um, now the tough choice is who do I want to open next? Uh, let's go ahead and get Leonardo in the mix. I call him Leonardo because that's the color mask uh, that he wears is blue. Um, I'm sure you guys know that if you know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So the darkest one is um, Donatello. The Pyrus one is Michelangelo. And the Ventus one is probably... Or no, the Ventus one would be Michelangelo. And the, the Pyrus one would be Raphael. Uh, just because the red... I mean, I know, I know it could be either one because it's red and orange. But, I mean... We might as well just make the solid green one, uh, Raph. Or, jeez, I just got it backwards again. You might as well make the solid green one, uh, Michelangelo. So, anyways, back to the topic at hand, which is the Tortonium Ultra. I went on a tangent way too long about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I got them wrong almost every time. So let's just open this bad boy. I am very excited. Um, I really want the Pyrus one, uh, but I don't think he's going to come out until uh, Wave... Five, which we should be getting, and I'm also going to take a look at the uh, checklist when we're done to make sure that we got everything for right now. Um, looks like they added another one of those little like uh, ties, those little binding thingies in there. So that's cool. We'll have to struggle with that here in a second. Uh, get the cards, get the cores, and ditch the rest. I think I hit the camera. Okay, um, I'm actually going to put a brief pause on it until my stream kind of catches up to me closer. I did hit the camera. Okay, it looks like we're still good, though. Okay, so. Oh my goodness, this Tortanium has a lot. So, Tortan Tortonium Ultra has the Green Fist and a Helix. He looks amazing. I really like this art. He's like, hmm? Mm. Anyways, <laughs> he, he's got 500 B power and 2 damage. Uh, he, if he lands on a helix, he gets 100 B power and 3 damage. And then you may re-roll with him once a turn if you miss. So he gets 2 abilities. So that's really, really cool. And the card we get with it is Dark Waters, which is also a card I really enjoy playing. So um, we're just going to put that there for now. Gotta, gotta love the Turtle Boys. I'm also very excited. Um, uh, some buddies, uh, obviously the ones I was mentioning earlier, my E heroes from Virginia Beach. There, uh, a couple of them are down at MomoCon right now, and they've been updating us on what stuff you know is about to come out in Wave Five. We've seen some stuff from Pravian, Pre which is like really really cool, and we got our first Arliss action card, so that's really really exciting. Maybe after this stream i could do like a somewhat of a small like update video since we're getting so much information about this game and like stuff to come so quickly like it, it feels like i just started doing this and we're already on like wave four or five like I, we're kind of in between waves <laughs> right now which is weird so of course the turtle boy oh god i love i love this design so much he's so precious he's got the little head he's got the big shell you could probably like close him like this while you're not like if he's on your bench you just leave him in more turtle form uh, he got, has this piece that pushes out uh so his core so he gets the helix of 500 b power and one damage or minus one damage and then the green fist of plus one damage so that's pretty cool uh not bad cores at all the helix is really good um but yeah and then he just kind of like closes like this he pushes the tail up and then he goes in and then his head just gets tucked I really like the orange accents on him a lot. I feel like, you know, these are probably be, uh, it's it's so clean. These will probably be uh, green in the Pyrus version. But like, the paint job on this guy is fantastic. Like, they did a really really good job. My my darkest one has like a little bit of like paint smudging and stuff. But like, this is really really good paint job. Uh, so let's go ahead and nail this first roll with a turtle spin. Hey. Okay, I actually have been practicing that one, so hopefully that looked good. Uh, terrible core to pick up, but whatever. Um, there wasn't any I was aiming for. I was just turtle spinning, so. So, yeah, awesome. 
So we'll go ahead and put him back up into marble form. 500 base is not bad, though. Not bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to look at the Pyrus Trox next, and we're going to leave Garganoid for last. Um, so that's really, really exciting. So I'm super happy to actually have this guy because I'm going to do some some deck reworking and fit him in to the like the deck I'm playing right now because the... Um, what's it called? The Arliss one that I'm playing, I don't play any of the evolutions because he's already like strong as poop. So, like, I just... I want to start messing around with him and stuff. And hopefully you guys caught my... Um, Wave 4 and 5 video, so you got to see some of the stuff like a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, but we're going to take a look at the, the cards that we, we got here. So we have Pyrus Trox Ultra, sporting a Super Shield and a Red Fist, which is really nice. Uh, 300 B-Power and 3 damage, which is really nice. I like the even splits. Like The 3 and 3 is, you know, it's not bad, um, but his evolution, I feel, makes him kind of worth playing. So we have Anger, which is our uh, action card. It's 300 B-Power. Oh, I'm so sorry. 300 B-Power, 2 cost, and if you have no cards in your hand, you get to draw 2 extra cards. So that's really nice. And that Super Shield might make him like worth playing a little bit more. Um, it'd be the only one I'd have in my on my arsenal. But, I mean, again, i got to like play around with it and see what I want to do. Um, so let's see what kind of cores we get with this bad boy. So, we got a 500 B-Power Shield and a 250 and 3 damage Green Fist. It's really, really good. I like that a lot. I don't think I have enough of those. Um, one thing I did want to pull up is I have the evolution right here. So, maybe we can, like, brainstorm and it, towards the end of this video and stuff and see if this guy's worth playing. He's a 5 cost, um, but he's a Titan. So, you know, he's pretty good. So, we have the uh, Titan Trox Ultra and Pyrus. So, we have the 5 cost. He gets 1,000 B-Power, 3 damage, and then when you play this, so like the turn you play this, he gets an additional 1 damage, or you can give a Bakugan an additional 1 damage and double strike. So I don't know if it's like super worth playing. Like I want to experiment with it a lot, but like I might have to run more like Midas Indias and, and stuff in my deck. I know a lot of people live by that card, but I'm actually not a fan. Um, so if you think I'm wrong, go ahead and correct me. I would... Love to hear some combos that would make Midas Indias better than I currently think it is. Um, so yeah, that'd be that'd be super cool. And popping him out of his plastic con confinement, we have Pyrus Trox Ultra, and he looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I think this is the second Trox Ultra I have because I didn't have I don't have the I don't have the Ventus one. Uh, I don't have the Aquas one. I just have the Arliss one. So having him now in my um, in my toolbox is very very nice. I have this like Tornado Trox like flick technique. <sighs> Maybe I'm talking too fast. I'm yawning a lot. But yeah, I got this like Tornado Trox flick technique that I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, that pretty much he nails the a core like every single turn. Um, he reminds me a lot of Gabutira from uh, Super Sentai Kyoryuger, so or Juden Sentai Kyoryuger. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and just roll him up. So you do the feet first, so he gets his like feet flipped around, and then you flip him around almost 180 degrees, and then his head goes back, and his tail will actually slide into the space right here. And let's see, I think. I think that's it. So there, there he is. He's got like again this big flat spot. So you just kind of like keep it on the flat spot, and then you flick like this notch right here, and he does like this really like almost perfect spin, and the magnet stays on the bottom for a good majority of that spin, and then he kind of starts to go sideways. Um, but when he slows down, the part of the magnet is on a slant, so you like in every direction. So you're almost guaranteed. I'll, again, I'll show it off later. Um, but I really like the the flick technique that I've come up with. So if we just pop him onto see, the push doesn't work as well. And if you try to do like the catapult, it he just goes right over it. So I might just try to do that. Let's see. 
See if I can get this accuracy. Embarrassing. Oh, he like hopped. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, but yeah, I did a little hop. I'm trying not to hit it too hard because I don't like fling him across. This isn't like my average setup. There we go. There we go. See? And we got the plus 650. So again, that's not, not bad at all. Got a l I, I really like Trox. I think I think he's a fantastic Bakugan. And if these guys just want to keep sticking to each other, they have to get separated. So yeah, Pyrus Trox. Fantastic. And that's just how he closes. It's very, very easy. You see his little face. And I'm just going to pop him right down there. And finally, but not least at all, the Darkest Garganoid Ultra, who I'm so excited to have and to be able to use officially. Uh, the deck, of course, is still going to have proxies in it and stuff. But just having the actual Bakugan for the deck is going to make me very happy because I won't have to correct my uh, buddies and to telling them that it is a darkest one that is attacking him. So that's going to be very, very nice. Um, let's go ahead and just get him open. All right, already losing stuff. So our cores are already freed from their confinement. Uh, Yeetith. All right, so taking a look at his cards, we have the... Yes, they're not in bad, bad condition. No, this is actually really good. So we have Darkest Purify for action card. I just, I had to look. <laughs> um, so our character card is Garganoid Ultra. The shield, the green fist, 300 B-power, and 5 damage. And his evolution is so good, and people don't understand that his evolution is so good because this this guy you could play his eight cost evolution from the graveyard or like the drop zone so you don't have to like baby it at all you could literally just toss it for like the first stone skin or like anything you have to get rid of and just have it in the drop zone and don't have to worry about like like you could just build up to the mana or the energy that you need for him and not have to like keep the card in your hand or just like babysit it. It's just like whenever you get the chance to play, the, pay the eight costs, you just go ahead and evolve this guy. And then he gives you the ability to re-roll. Um, I think I have one on hand. Let me grab it real quick. Because the deck that I play is um, kind of close to one that a lot of people are playing right now. It's um, Darkest Turtle Boy... Pirates, I keep hitting the computer and I'm super sorry. Pyrus Halcor Ultra, and uh, they use the Pyrus Serpentes Ultra as the third. But I like to use the Garganoid as a third because this evolution is just insane. Like, it's, a, it's at 8 cost, it becomes a 10-10. If you miss with it, you can re-roll it, and then you can play this card from the discard as if it's in your hand. So, like... It just has so much to it, and you don't have to babysit this card at all, that it just I feel like it makes it worth playing at one, because you really don't need any more than one. Because Unless you use it for energy, you're not going to be shut off from using it. Um, at least that's my like personal experience. Like Again, if you guys need to brawl me to figure out what I'm talking about, I accept all comers, and I will, I will accept your challenge at any time and anywhere. So... Go ahead and bring it on. I will I will face you. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and pop this guy out. I think we do the tail first. We might be able to... Yeah, there we go. Just pry him right out. Super easy. Um, so here he is. Oh, the purple on the inside is sick. And the green looks really, really nice. I like that a lot. Garganoid is sick. What a cool Bakugan. He's got this solid purple tail, except for like right here, but most of it is purple, and he just looks really, really cool. I love this guy so much. Oh, 
yeah, he looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and uh, ball him up and see what we think about his marble form with the accents of the purple, the touches of the green and whatnot. So there we go. Oh, he looks so cool. It's kind of got like a Ben 10 like look to it with like the black and the green. And then he's got like this purple strip. I don't know. It's, it just reminds me of uh, like a Ben 10 alien or something. So bam, nailed it. Uh, so that's really cool. I like him a whole lot. I can't wait to like actually use him in the deck that I'm building or yeah, I guess building cause it's proxied. Um, but he's got a little bit of a, like purple. Uh, let's hold, hold his hands back. He's got like a little bit of a purple here under his jaw. So they added like a lot more detail. I have to look at the other one and see if they like added that as well. So, um, yeah, I think the, all that's left is just a, uh, brawling, mara uh, um, montage. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't think of the word. So I'm just going to go ahead and like, I'm going to sit over here and I'm just going to keep rolling them and just opening them and stuff. So, uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. I mean, I'm not done yet, obviously, but like for the box opening portion of the stream, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and move over there, and I'm just gonna brawl across the uh, the stadium here. So hopefully you guys can see. I have to readjust and everything, so give me one second. Ah, crack a loose. Always got to be difficult. Ah, oh, he's so difficult. <laughs> Alright, I gotta adjust real quick. Give me one second. Oh, also for Garganoid's course, he has the um, the Green Fist 100 D power, and Darkest and Aquas get 3 damage, and a regular shield 250. So that's really nice. Uh, I totally forgot about those. So we're just gonna make a little hive matrix. We're gonna roll some back down at it. stuff. I don't know how many I should put. Maybe I just a, a nice solid hex of like seven. Make sure we get like one of each there. And what else? Uh, yeah, that's that's all five five tokens. So let's go throw this on there, and another shield. There we go. So that should be a pretty decent core to shoot at. I mean, that's pretty much the standard shape. Um, so no problems there. I just gotta close up Crackless real quick, and we will get right to it. So, all right, everybody is good to go. So we'll just go ahead and fire these off until we get everybody. Um, I'll save my Trox roll for a little bit later. Um, so, yeah, no particular order. We'll just go ahead and just start rolling them. Oh, okay. Does not want to open. So let's go ahead and do a uh, Garganoid. Nope. <laughs> right across all of them. Serpentes. There we go. All right, Serpentes stuck. Stuck. So bam. Try Crackalos. I know if you like, don't kind of on his head. Uh, I don't even know how he likes to stand. Maybe it's right here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 
All right, well, he kind of opened a little bit too quick, so I'm going to roll him up and try him again. There we go. All right, he grabbed the core that time at least. So bam, Crackalos is all taken care of. Uh, all right, uh, do Patrix next. Bam, first try. Very nice. I I, I want to roll him again though because he's so new and and fresh. So I got to make sure that I'm getting good practice in with him. Bam. Nice. Okay. Yeah, he's really good. Pretty consistent. He's been grabbing like the first row of stuff every time so far. So hopefully I can start using that as like a, a practice point or something. You know what I mean? Uh, I haven't been really playing Chaos recently, but this might give me a reason to, to pick it up again. Um, uh, yes. Oh my god, he's so consistent. Yeah, definitely get yourself a, a Chaos Pegatrix. So we're just going to go ahead and open him real quick. All the way. Bam. All right, and then next we have Garganoid. Nope, he does not want to agree with us. I don't know why. Let's try this again. Nope. <laughs> there we go. All right, right at the end, snatched it. Very nice. Ah, oh, keep him out of the way. Right there, it's good. All right, next up we got the Turtle Boy. See if he wants to redeem himself. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now he wants to agree with us. Let's see if I can't get a third third one in a row, and then I'll move on. I mean, if not, I'm moving on regardless, but so we do like the... Yeah. See, so there's... You, you can definitely spice it up and come up with some pretty cool ways of, of rolling your dudes. Not really too much... Oh, I gotta leave him open. <laughs> Maybe here. There we go. Okay, cool. I didn't know where he wanted to be. All right, so um, I'm actually just going to move these guys back over here just so I can show you. Okay, so this is my patented Tornado Trox uh, launch. This is a trade secret, so don't tell nobody. <laughs> so you got your Trox, and you obviously put his flat side down, and instead of like keeping him straight, you want to put him at like an angle. To where this this notch on the side is uh, like pointing like towards you, and then when you flick it, you just want to like follow through. Like you want to do like a regular like a flick. Got him. Uh, you just want to do like a regular flick and follow through, and it should hit him in such a way that he just like spins uh, just right on this flat piece. So let's see if I can't do it. Oh my goodness! There we go. A little bit fast. I was trying to find like a happy medium between. So I'll try it again. Show you guys a couple times. So again, put it at an angle towards you. And you just kind of like, yeah. Of course I'm like trying to show it off, it's not working, but maybe if I relax and kind of do it normally. Oh my god, keep missing. There we go. Maybe that was a little bit better. I'm just camera shy, I guess, with my with my brawls. So let's see if I can't get a decent 
that was pretty good. That last one wasn't bad. But I'll just I'll just try I'll just try like I'll just try like and nail it because sometimes they'll actually stand up. It's very rare, but I might be able to pull it off. Oh, that was so close. I was robbed. But yeah, the, the Tornado Trucks is not patented, so you guys can feel free to use it as you want. It works um, with, I think, Dragonoid Ultra as well, just because he's got those like wings and you just like do the same thing, but instead of the notch, you flick the, um, oh, you flick the, uh, the wing instead. Here we go. Final one. He's gonna stand. Nope. He br he break dances though. He was b boying it. So we'll just go ahead and set these guys up. This. So not bad at all. So that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for my stream. Um, oh, you can thumbs up. So yeah, go ahead and uh, give this video, this stream a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. This is my first uh, like actual stream and like let alone on this channel, a decent stream. So sorry, I got a little noisy there at the end. Um, again, my name is Soul Burner. Hopefully you guys want to stick around and you know check out my later videos and whatnot. I got plenty of battles, and like I'm backlogged like crazy on quickies and um, hoochie what's uh, like actual battles and pack openings and stuff. So hopefully, uh, I actually have some free time tomorrow, uh, being Saturday. So I will try to upload a video then. And until the next video, I see you guys. I hope you have a fiery day, and thanks again. It means a world to me. Peace out.